Hey guys, Travis here. Now it's been about six months since my last video and a lot has changed. Um, mainly was, you know, for my lack of videos was I was preparing for a, a through hike of the Appalachian Trail from uh, Georgia to Maine. It's like 2,200 miles. And that's the second year I've done this, but it's the second year I've come back with the same knee injury. So, uh, as you remember, last my last video or two, I uh, had the Fluville 13 and a half. Uh, I got into this hobby only because time has allowed it and my injuries have allowed me to actually try out these reef tanks. So I mean it's a, like a double edged sword there. I, I'd love to do my hike but at the same time I, I'm glad I got into the saltwater hobby finally instead of the, you know the freshwater. Uh, I don't know what I was missing all this time. But um, you know the last video I had there that Shadar reactor and I've, I've had people comment any updates on that. In my opinion is it worked amazing but it was too amazing for such a small volume where I was dosing constant uh, trace elements to keep the the chato alive and it's not exactly what I wanted I wanted to keep my you know my nitrates and phosphates low but not completely take them away to where everything else was suffering so I kind of got rid of that idea and my fluval ended up being like a quarantine tank while I upgraded to like a 30 gallon cube but it had an, a hang on bag filter so it wasn't really a reef ready tank and it wasn't really anything I was proud of. So this year, uh, after my second injury here, which was you know only a couple weeks ago and uh, I, I thought to myself you know with the save money I had for this hike was well you know since I'm home resting and you know I want a tank that I can be proud of and something where everything you know the wires and all that can be, be behind the scenes and I could have something I actually truly want. And this is what I ended up with uh, when I found out I did not win the contest over at Fantastics up in Raleigh. Um, uh, a new friend of mine on YouTube, uh, it was like Carolina Shore Fishing, I believe. Let me double check this. Uh, yeah, uh, Carolina Shore Fishing, yeah. Uh, he ended up getting the tank from Fantastics as from a friend who actually won the tank but gave it to him as as a gift uh, for whatever reason. But that's awesome that he did, and he finally has it set up, and it's looking awesome. But when I found out I didn't win that, I went ahead and bought the tank myself, and I, I couldn't be more happy. Uh, so I combined basically a 30-gallon cube and that Fluval 13 and a half into this. And, uh, I mean, that's what you're seeing here. If I can get it to focus here. So I guess I will... Uh, I have all the time in the world to start making these videos on a constant basis, which I'm going to try and do now. So this is the reef tank that I want uh, and I'm proud of. So I will go ahead and, and start uh, doing the details here. So obviously it's the Innovative Marine Lagoon 25. Uh, lighting wise, I have the AI Prime HD at a, a custom uh, AB plus settings from Coral Labs. I, I put more blues on. I put all the blues maxed. Uh, that's what I did with the Fluval and everything kind of worked amazing there for me. So I bring it over to this tank and get the same results basically. Uh, so the equipment now is I have uh, two of the, the custom caddies here and it's nothing but filter floss and bio ball or the, the marine sphere uh, balls. And I got those on, on both sides here. That's all I've ever really uh, run on my tanks is filter floss and the, the media. Uh, I just got some regular Aquion 100 watt heater. Never had an issue with it. It fits perfectly in there. Um, but in that, uh, if you can see, I, I do have a little bit of carbon just because it's a new tank and I had to get rid of that cloudiness from my sand. Uh, but the other side is still uh, Marine Sphere uh, balls here. And uh, Aqua, auto aqua, micro, like uh, nano tank, uh, automatic top off. It's working amazing for this tank, like all the other tanks I had it on. I ended up upgrading the, the return pump to an MJ1200 and uh, it's a JVO PP4. I had it on the back wall there, but it was pushing the sand in the front and it was kind of spreading it out on all sides there. So I just moved it to the side and uh, I'm, I'm getting good flow still. I got the perfect flow that I want. Um, rock wise, I got some regular dead live rock from 
somebody local uh, right here and here and mostly the rest of it is the Carib Sea Life Rock which I, I love I never had an issue with it uh, I put the, the the old live rock in it I bleached it and all that to kill the everything to make sure everything was dead and stayed dead and that was the only rock I ever had any algae on but the, the Carib Sea Life Rock never gave me an issue um, so I got 40 pounds of the Fiji pink sand, uh, a little overkill, but um, I have a pistol shrimp and I'm trying to get a Yasha Gobi right now, which I am jealous that uh, the Carolina Shore fishing guy, uh, John I believe his name is, he has one. He got lucky because the, the place that the tank, you know, he got the tank from, forgot it was in there. So he got a free rare fish in my opinion because I can never find any to buy. Uh, but for equipment wise that's about it uh, i'm working on the, the lid right now i'm trying to get the uh the rest of the material i need uh let's see here livestock wise i got a pair of wyoming white clowns right here i got two uh turbo snails uh, i got five or six uh trochus snails let's see here you see one of the cleaner shrimp. I actually have two cleaner shrimp. One of them's pregnant now. Once I added in the other one. In the back here, if I can, you can see, I got six sexy shrimp along with its host here, the Maxi Mini, which I love. It doesn't hurt anything. Hasn't killed anything ever. And I've had that for a few months now. What's up, asshole? Um, let's see here. I said uh, trochus snails. I got a pajama cardinal. He's new to the tank. Uh, so he's just kind of chilling, getting used to everything. Uh, what else I got here? I got two conch snails. There's one, and one, another one is in the back right there. Uh, and I can see my cleaner shrimp molted. So that's a good thing. I just did the water change, so that's probably why. Uh, let's see, you can see I got a chalk bass right there. I got two peppermint shrimp. And he did poke his head out, but I do have a lawnmower blunty that likes to hang out behind this clam here. And sometimes he'll kind of host in it and the clam allows it. Uh, coral wise, we'll start here in the back. Obviously got a frog spawn in the very back there, in the middle. That's a new one I just got, so it's still kind of opening up, getting used to everything. So that'll be my kind of frog spawn corner. I got some GSP on a rock that started out with a small frag. And as soon as I changed salts from... Uh, what was it, the Instant Ocean Reef Crystals to the uh, Red Sea uh, Pro Salt. This thing took off. All my corals took off. I'm actually getting a, you know, a constant pH above 8 and all my parameters are in check. I don't really check them that much because I'm doing, you know, 5-gallon water changes every week. So uh, stability is usually spot on for me. Now, I bought this a while ago and I was told it was GSP. But it also looks like, I believe it's called like Sympodium or Symposium. It looks like that as well. So if anybody can get a better idea what that is for me. It's been a slow grower, so it doesn't have the characteristics of GSP to me. Uh, let's see here, what else we got? I just got this A-can as well. I don't know this proper name to all these. It's an A-can, that's all I know. But he's starting to open up and get all, you know, puffy and whatnot. So he's starting to look healthy. Uh, obviously, I got my uh, Maxima Clam here. I got him probably about four months ago. He loves this AI Prime HD, and also he's the centerpiece of my tank. So he is always going to be right underneath the light to get the most light. Uh, let's see, I got this Candy Cane Zoa Rock right here. I got two and two. So eventually those will spread out. Uh, I'm starting to see the head splitting on the Candy Canes there, and and then this one is uh splitting as well so that's good and then got my torch just flowing uh kenya tree he's doing well back there uh and then i got the grape coral in the very back on the right and then a hammer on the left the hammer basically came back from nothing so he, he's doing a lot better now and then my my maxi mini which i just said uh it's probably doubled in size here and doesn't harm anybody hardly feed the thing it it's thriving right now it eats whatever's left over and uh that's about it for the livestock of this i, I custom built the stand because uh this bio cube stand is a 
So I'm new to this uh, video thing and I got cut off at 10 minutes. So I'm not sure what that's about. But uh, I, uh, I upgraded the stand, or built my stand. And uh, from that, the BioCube 32, because it barely held like a 10 gallon stand without wobbling all over the place. But uh, that is my, my reef setup. And lighting wise, I'm usually 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. I get minimal algae on this thing. Um, and all my other tanks I used to have before this. I know this is brand new, but my old tanks barely ever had algae on this light schedule with that kind of intensity on a fluval. So everything's worked fine there. And, um, you know, I got out of the salt water or the, the freshwater hobby to do this. And when I came back again from my injury, I, I kept seeing these shell dwellers, the Lake Tanganyika cichlid shell dwellers. And I, I've kind of always wanted them, but I can never find what I wanted. Until recently, there was a store I bought some shrimp from last year, like cherry shrimp from uh, New Jersey. That's like Fishtown, USA. And they, I saw a post they had. And um, let me change the color in here because I got to adjust for, the, you know, the different waters here. That's what that tank actually looks like in person. And um, they posted that they actually had my, the shell dwellers I've been looking for for like a year. And they are called like Neo Lampragus Similis, if it actually focuses there. They're really shy when you uh, get up close, so I had to zoom there. But uh, I finally found these guys, and it's on a, a they're on a 33 long. So I only got seven of them, and uh, and uh, the cats are making crazy noises right now. So it's, they got plenty of room to breed for the future and all that. I know the plants aren't exactly part of the you know the the uh, environment they come from, but it's more of a, a filter than anything. And I got some carob sea base rock, which uh, I guess helps buffer the water a little bit, which I really haven't had an issue with, because it took about a week for everything to stabilize before I got these fish. But let me see if I can get close here and uh, I'll show you if I can get a little bit closer. If it focuses, yeah, there they go. I'll get close and they'll run scared here eventually. And now they don't want to for whatever reason. But these guys, I don't, I don't know if they're males or females. I guess they're still too small. They were unsexed. So hopefully I, I have a, a couple of each at least in here. You see one was in the shell right there in the middle. He'll probably poke his head back out. Uh, but, I mean, establishing territories and digging in the sand, burying their shells, uh, that's what I've noticed. I've had these guys for about a week now. So they're still new, but they're full of character. Of any other character I've had with my freshwater fish history, I mean, these guys are, are fun to watch. And they only need a shallow tank because they rarely ever go above a couple inches from their shells, so that's good. But yeah, uh, just regular hang on back filter with uh, filter floss and bio media. And an old Kessel light I used for my planted tanks back in the day a couple years ago, so that's still there. But it's doing wonders on this tank. It It's enough for everything to to do good. So those are both my tanks and I'll see if I can post them before and after pictures of what this corner looked like to what it looks like now. Again, uh, I'm back for good for this year at least, hiking wise. Um, so I will try and do my best to keep everything updated and uh, if you have questions, I'll do videos on those questions or I'll just try and stay in this community because the community is awesome. And uh, I'm hoping I can get, you know, more like-minded people. Uh, you know, I've seen a few that have, you know, this tank, and it's awesome just to share what everybody's ideas of a, a, an awesome reef tank is and what works for them and what doesn't work for them. So until the next video, uh, you guys have a nice day.